and welcome to uh, Voltaworth uh, Electric. I'm, I'm Eric and I am Voltaworth Electric. Um, I've been working the last week and a half on uh, Bluetooth. Bluetooth Low Energy, as you can see here. I've added it to the Gilbert counter since the competition in this one. I uh, got the quite clear impression that the option of connecting your uh, heart rate monitor to the counter was something people prefer. Um, so I invested quite a lot of time in it, um, and it, 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 it worked. Um, so now you have a Bluetooth belt, a heart rate monitor belt, that is newer than Bluetooth version 4.0. That's not that new, so you should be safe. Um, then you can connect it to the, um, to the kettle account. If you have a Garmin or Suunto product, I'm sorry, that is most likely ANT Plus. You cannot connect that to this. I'm sorry, it's something different. But for example, a Polar H10, a very uh, used heart rate monitor, that's, uh, that should work. It does work. And also other heart rate monitors. The thing is that, well, it would be very easy if all heart rate monitors were just the same. But unfortunately, they are not. Um, so I've added this menu points, and then it says choose your BLE, that's Bluetooth Low Energy, simple or complex. So depending on which belt you have, you'll have either a complex or a simple type belt. And I've added the function right up here that it writes which belt you've connected. It says Polar H10. That's quite good because I've, I've put on a Polar H10, and then it's giving my pulse. And it will keep, it's, it, it will remain in this menu until you press the middle button. So if you just want to look at your heart rate for whatever reason, doing a spring for hour, you can just keep it here. It will just update your heart rate once every second, if there's a change to be shown. If you press the middle button on the remote, you'll go back to the main menu. You can go back to the original menu and just keep watching your pulse, that's an option. Or you can start an interval, um, like for example, a countdown, just gonna take, take 10 seconds. So if you have a countdown or count up function, whatever you like, then it'll show your pulse and not the reps. So this function works in the standalone mode, that is when you use it here. It does not, the Bluetooth does not work in competition mode because in competition you would like to have your reps, I assume. Um, so that will be it. And then when it's done, it will also show, it will store the maximum value of your pulse. So you'll have your peak pulse um, shown to you. Okay, so that was the test with the uh, Polar H10. I also have a Polar OH1. This is an optical uh, little hardware monitor, and you can see it flashes. And now I have one pulse belt that I've taken off, which is probably still active, and one that is very active. So how do I know which to connect? Well, there's this funny little app, not funny, but very good little app called um, HR, uh, sorry, NRF Connect. It's both on uh, for Android and iOS. You can download that and you can do a scan. I'll show everyone in Nubo if you want to see it. But then you can scan and see which um, which products are available and where, where, what and how. And so this should probably tell you which, if, if you have a lot of Bluetooth devices very close by, you can filter or sort them out. Because this is a, well in that term, stupid unit. This will connect to the whichever Bluetooth signature is the strongest. So if I've just taken off the Polar H10 and put on the OH1, OH1 it doesn't, this does not know which one to connect to or not to connect to. So let's see, let's have a test if I'm lucky that it should be. The OH1 is a simple type of addressing, whether the H10 was a complex type. It's just a matter of trial and error, but let's see if it should work, if I'm lucky. Yes, Polar OH1, it connected. So, the kettlebell monitor from both uh, electric works with both complex and simple addressing type BLE hardware monitors. And that's actually something I'm quite um, uh, happy about. In pentathlon, 
it's the same thing It'll, if you do a standalone workout that is without the uh, master just remote connected or the remote control then it will show you pulse if you have connected it and also in interval functions let's say you did something like one minute on one minute off and just can do it very short because it's a video then it will um, show it as well the only thing that's different from if you take like a uh, Merkelin ladder or Tabata in the pauses they will show you a maximum pulse but for the uh, one minute on one minute off or whatever variation it will show you your current um, heart rate so you know when you're coding down. So I hope this is informative. Please uh, email me or write me if you have any questions or and if you want to see additional false tests, I can see if I can accommodate you. Bye for now.